Uh, cities across the nation continue to remove Confederate statues and monuments following the death of George Floyd, but some protesters are taking upon themselves to forcefully remove statues. Some that have left the Catholic faithful angry. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales reports. Tracy, I'm standing here in Statuary Hall inside the U.S. Capitol, where states determine which public figures they want honored, one of which is St. Junipero Serra, who is known as the Apostle of California for helping to bring the Catholic faith there. <laughs> Cheers from protesters Friday as they topple the statue of St. Junipero Serra in San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. The Archbishop of San Francisco asking, what is happening to our society? He explains who St. Serra was, Quote, St. Seta made heroic sacrifices to protect the indigenous people of California from their Spanish conquerors, especially the soldiers. He walked all the way to Mexico City in order to discipline the military who were abusing the Indians and then walked back to California. The Spanish embassy to the U.S. tweeted on Seta, a native of Spain, quote, we deeply regret the destruction of the statue of St. Junipero Seta in San Francisco. Congresswoman Debbie Lesko of Arizona says tearing down the statue isn't right. I think it divides us more than it solves any type of problems. And certainly tearing down a statue, uh, a, a Catholic statue of someone that brought Christianity, I, why would they do that? And she questions the motive behind it. So I, I kind of wonder if these people that are doing criminal acts, tearing down statues, defacing statues, even know anything about history or if they're just a big mob that's gone crazy. In September 2015, Pope Francis canonized Junipero Serra at a mass in Washington, D.C., the first saint to be canonized on U.S. soil. The next day, after an address to Congress, the Pope visited Statuary Hall in the Capitol to pay respects before the saint statue. In 2015, standing alongside Pope Francis were prominent U.S. lawmakers, including the House Minority Leader at the time, current House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and Vice President Joe Biden. It remains to be seen if the speaker will lobby to keep or remove the statue from the hall, representing a piece of California's history. I reached out to her office. Our calls were not returned. Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.